Happy New Year, trainers. I hope you are ready for our first battle of 2024. This is against someone from our Pokemon group. This is Patrick, and um, he has a pretty interesting team here. And we're just gonna, you know, get straight into the battle, not waste any time. So here we go. I'm very excited to get my first match out of the way. He starts off with Umbreon and um, I start off with Manscape. Of course, what I want to do is get my dual screens up. Um, I'm only thinking that this Umbreon, you know, may want to go straight for, you know, a Toxic or maybe a Flower Play, but he surprises me by initiating the substitute. Um, I'm, I'm kind of worried here at this point now because I do not know what he wants to do. I know that Baton Pass is banned but um i'm not sure what he, he, he wants to do we don't typically go by you know just the usual rules but we just don't use any broken stuff but he actually goes and throws a toxic at manscape so i see he has the leftovers and the poison damage is ticking so i'm just trying to figure out now um should i switch out and um, you know, capitalize on the toxic damage and to try and break the substitute, but he goes for the calm mind and um, I just wanna destroy the substitute. That's my main thing. I see I see that you know he's pretty much going for a special attack, special defense set, and um, we're just gonna beat him down on his regular defense, get rid of the substitute. So that's the goal. Um right now the play is to stay in and then just just get rid of this thing because i know he's going to continually go for the substitute so i'm just going to capitalize that by getting some damage off he actually switches out to my surprise and he goes straight for the blaze again and i go for the spirit break and it does pretty pretty good damage so i do not know what this thing wants to do but i know blaziken has the speed boost but the parting shot is gonna actually you know mitigate his his offensive stat so we're gonna get the hell out of here so he's minus two special attack and minus one attack so what i want to do now is bring out x because whatever he wants to do um the damage won't be as potent so he actually goes for the brick break and gets rid of my dual screens. I mean, I've never seen a blazing and run brick break. Um, to my surprise, um, it, it, it's, it's pretty convenient for him. I want to go for the side shock, but I know he's not going to stay in. So the best play for me right now is to go for the scorching sign since he has a steel type in the back. So he actually stays in and I get the scorching signs off. Keep in mind, I am scarfed. So pretty much nothing much he could do there i'm also uh max speed and i know i'll be faster than the blaze again based on me outspeeding him i assume that was an adamant blaze again he he sends out the glyco and there's no way in hell i want to stay on this thing um i was thinking about well based on my team kind of weak to ground well well there's two of my pokemon but none of my pokemon really want to take a ground type attack so I'm just deciding who do I send out here and the safest place to just go back in the mindscape because in if any wants to go for toxic I'm already poisoned and um, I really need to get my screens back up so again he has another Pokemon with substitute so I'm, I'm getting a little worried here because you know the poison damage is ticking and he's still with the, the shenanigans the poison and the substitute and you know just a bit of stall so I get my reflect back up at least. And he goes with the poison job. Um, Manscape is pretty tanky. And I also have my reflect up. So he starts healing. At this point, I just want to get rid of the sub again. And pretty much, you know, do as much um, damage to it. And, you know, maintain my defenses and weaken this Pokemon, you know. Pretty much, if you're going to stall me out, I'm going to weaken your Pokemon and make sure that you switch out and make sure that your sub is useless. So, in the event, I know he, he may want to go for the poison jab again. And I also want to scout his moveset just to see whether or not he has the Earthquake. 
So, I mean, I'm hovering over Midas, and I think I should bring him out at this point now, just to scout out a few moves. I mean, the Reflect is up, and he has minus one attack. So he goes for the SD. So he should be back at um, neutral attack right now. So he heals up the full, and um, I'm going to scout right now to see whether this is a physically defensive Gliscor or specially defensive. So if this breaks the sub, I will know. This is why it's good to have a great balance on your team of special attackers, physical attackers, and obviously, you know, the tanky Pokemon and a set of Pokemon. So as you can see, my Shadow Ball was able to easily break the substitute. To my surprise, he goes for the Crab Armor. I mean, I guess I've never seen this move set. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna judge um, his team or anything. But like I said, I just wanna um, test out this new team and I want to see what he was going to bring to the table. So as you can see, I was able to break the sub, get some damage off. He goes for the sub again. Heals up. And um, as you can see, he's still going for the grab hammer. And um, I'm just going to play it safe, stay in and go with the shadow ball again. Just get rid of a sub. It seems that he does not have the earthquake. So I'm just going to, you know, stay in and do as much damage as I can and kill this thing off because this is actually a great threat to my team my team is actually somewhat weak to ground types well two of my main pokemon and um you know and nothing else can actually just switch into a ground type attack earthquake mainly so we get rid of the glide score lose some hp and um let's see who he wants to send out next plugs so yeah electivire um i'm thinking earthquake ice punch all that other good stuff but let's see what the hell um he wants to do here um i don't know what he wants to do i was just thinking maybe just sock midas get some damage off on this thing um and just scout what he wants to do here he goes with t wave but um you know golden go is an amazing pokemon that ability is just so so good he cannot drop my stats and he cannot even get any status effects on me. So we switch out and we head out into, we send Rek'Sai out. Um, any League of Legends fans in the building? So let me know. <laughs> so we get, he gets a reflect off to my surprise and my reflect wears off. So like I said, he has um, some very unorthodox sex, sets, sorry. Um, I don't know what the hell he wants to do, but I was thinking, well, since he got a reflective it doesn't make sense for me to stay in and go for an earthquake and um i'm just gonna scout right now to see if he has the ice punch so rexai returns and we send out midas as death fodder and he sends back out down brion so right now, I am actually going to stay in because I don't need Midas at this point anymore. We're going to go for the Dazzling Gleam and just get the hell out of here. Midas did enough and um, we actually get to capitalize on the switch out. I was actually expecting him to go for the substitute, but he actually goes for the Shadow Ball. I think he forgot that I was life orbed. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter what you see on these teams. I I never run the same teams, and especially not with the same items. So don't think you're going to see the same moves either. So what I want to do is send out Cleaver now, and to just get rid of this thing, and eventually get the Stone Axe off in order to, to set up um, my rocks. So the X Scissor easily takes out Umbreon. I don't think any any other Pokemon on this team wanted to take that, but he could have switched in the Scizor to soak up that damage. But right now he sends out the Scizor. Um, so yeah, this is the legendary battle. This is rock and scissors. <laughs> we just need paper in the mix. So what I'm thinking here, um, should I switch out? Expect a steel move or him to set up maybe defog or something and um, You know just knock it over with an um, arm armor canning 
but ultimately I decided to stay in and just let Cleaver do some work. Like, I mean, he's down to three Pokemon, so at this point, I believe Cleaver is going to take it out. For some reason, he has the Quick Claw, but I'm not sure what he wants to do at this point, so I guess we'll see in a moment. So I Terrastalize here, Bug type, expecting the Steel move or Swords Dance or something. He goes with a Bullet Punch. I mean, it's pretty awkward because I thought, you know, oh well, I go for the Stone Axe and it missed. But yeah, it's pretty awkward because he he run he ran a click claw, Quick Claw with the Bullet Punch. I mean, he has priority, so I didn't I don't I don't find it necessary for him to have the Quick Claw. But like I said, I'm not judging him. I'm not really too worried about it it is what it is he may just be testing out this team and now he also goes for the agility so again i don't think you know it, it was pretty wise and for him to run this such a set and i know that i was able to take another bullet punch so i stay in and cleaver just decapitates the scissor so yeah you see rock finally defeats scissors as usual it's just how the game is played um my cleaver is pretty fast so I just may be able to outspeed this thing. Um, I'm not sure whether this Pokemon is fully trained or not. His um, Electivire, but we'll see right now if I outspeed. Yep, Cleaver, Exorcer, easily take this out, especially with especially with the sharpness ability. So as you can see, the battle is pretty much in my favor, and um, yeah, it's, it's going pretty well. He sends out the Gallade. Um, I don't think he can do anything to me right now i'm thinking whether well, i should make a play or not but like i said cleaver can just stay in and just finish off his team good game first game of the new year and um it's pretty easy but i just think he was playing around with that team so yeah do not mess with cleaver cleaver is an amazing pokemon trust me try him out he's a beast and yeah he's very very awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um, continue to enjoy the first day of 2024 and um, I hope to have more battle videos out. Enjoy.